Let's go to the north and go to LaGuardia Airport, and that's where Bianca Solorzano is with us this morning. Bianca, how bad is it and how many people have spent the weekend there? Uh, I'll tell you all about that, Dave. Good morning, everyone. It was really a very rough start to one of the busiest travel weeks of the year. 1,200 flights were canceled at New York City's three major airports, leaving people hoping to get out today. The line here at LaGuardia, much longer than usual. We spoke with some passengers. They told us that most of them are on regularly scheduled flights. Only a few had managed to rebook. As airport crews spent Sunday plowing snow-covered runways, passengers dealt with long lines, cancellations, and disruptions to their holiday travel plans. This is the first day of my Christmas vacation, so I need to get home. Nationwide, Delta Airlines says it canceled 1,600 flights this weekend. United scrapped 1,000 flights. And JetBlue, based in New York, canceled 479 flights, more than 20% of its weekend schedule. The travel tie-ups will likely continue for at least another day. Monday is going to be a very tough day because it's going to take airlines, you know, roughly 36 hours to get crews and airplanes back where they need to be. Now thousands of passengers are trying to rebook flights. They told us that the next available booking would be Thursday, Come on. which is Christmas Eve. And others are finding that space is severely limited. Everything's been booked full for months, so that means there aren't any excess seats out there. They'll get the people out, but it's going to be getting to know the airport up close and personal. And that means hours at the airport. Now some good news. Many of the airlines, including U.S. Airways, JetBlue and Delta, they are relaxing or even waiving the fees associated with rebooking. Perhaps it's some holiday spirit from the airlines. Maggie? The least they can do. Bianca Solorzano at LaGuardia. Thanks, Bianca.